Hello all, welcome back to my channel. As you all know, my name is Disha, pursuing BE in Electronics and Communication at Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering. Today, I am here to give a presentation on network security. Firstly, what is network security? Network security refers to the practice of implementing measures to protect a computer network and its data from unauthorized access, misuse, modification or disruption. It encompasses various technologies, policies and procedures designed to ensure the confidentiality, integrity and availability of network resources. Key aspects of network security. Firstly, it is access control. This involves authentication mechanism like passwords, biometrics or two factors authentication and authorization policies defining what each user or entity is allowed to do within the network. Second aspect is firewalls. Firewalls are security devices or software that monitor and control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predominated security rules. Third aspect is intrusion detection and prevention systems that is IDPS. IDPS are tools designed to detect and respond to potential threats or security breaches in real time. They analyze network traffic and system activity looking for signs of suspicious behavior or known attack patterns. Encryption. Encrypting data in transit, example using protocols like SSL or TLS and data at reset, example using disk encryption, ensures that sensitive information remains secure even if in intercepted by unauthorized parties. Virtual private networks, shortly known as VPNs. VPNs creates a secure encrypted connection over a public network like the internet allowing remote users to access the organization's network resources securely. Need for network security Firstly, confidentiality Protecting sensitive information from unauthorized access or disclosure Safeguarding data such as personal information, financial records, and intellectual property. Secondly, it is integrity. Ensuring that data remains accurate, complete, and safeguarding the unaltered during transmission or storage. Availability. Ensuring that network resources and services are accessible or accessible by authorized users when needed. Regulator Compliance Compliance with standards such as GDPR, HIPAA, PCI, DSS and industry specific regulations. Protection against cyber threats Defending against a wide range of cyber threats including malware, phishing, ransomware and insider threats. Implementing measures to detect, prevent and respond to security incidents effectively. Type of attacks, malware, example WannaCry ransomware attack. Malware refers to malicious software designed to disrupt damage or gain unauthorized access to computer systems or networks. The WannaCry ransomware attack, which occurred in 2017, exploited a vulnerability in Microsoft Windows operating system to spread rapidly across networks. 
WannaCry encrypted files on infected computers and demanded ransom payments in Bitcoin for decryption keys causing widespread disruption to organization worldwide. The second type of attack is phishing. Example, email spoofing. Email spoofing is a common technique used in phishing attacks where attackers forge the sender's email address to appear as if the email is from a trusted source. DDoS Distributed Denial of Service Attacks Example Mirai Bonnet Attack DDoS Attacks aim to overwhelm a target server, network or website with a flood of malicious traffic, rendering it inaccessible to legitimate users. Insider Threats Example Edward Snowden Insider Threats involve individuals within an organization who misuse their access privileges to steal sensitive information, commit fraud or sabotage systems. Edward Snowden, a former contractor for the National Security Agency NSA, leaked classified documents in 2013 revealing extensive surveillance programs conducted by the agency. Man in the middle attacks, example Wi-Fi eavesdrops. MITM attacks involved intercepting and manipulating communication between two parties without their knowledge, allowing the attacker to eavesdrop on sensitive information or modify data in transit. Thank you for watching the video guys, please do like the video, if not subscribe, please do subscribe my channel for getting more interesting videos based on electronics and communication related topics.